first question, uh, what issue inspires you to run and uh, how will you tackle them? Uh, I think Amarillo College is very important in the uh, continuing growth of Amarillo and uh, helping to uh, educate the workforce here for uh, future better paying jobs, helping industry and, and businesses here um, come up with better paying jobs for the city of Amarillo and uh, keep that workforce provided to ensure the longevity and success of Amarillo. Okay. What do you think is the greatest challenge facing the college? Uh, I think the college has some challenges facing the fact that uh, education is changing. Secondary education is becoming more online in some places. We need to uh, help create more uh, online training and online jobs for things. Not all jobs are possible to be trained that way, but uh, there certainly is growth in that sector. More uh, jobs become online. Um, that helps the city of Amarillo if we have uh, more available opportunities for people to live here in Amarillo but yet work for uh, businesses that are in other places. Um, so I think that's very important for the college to figure out how we move that forward. Um, the college certainly is going to face funding problems in the near future. The state of Texas is continuing to cut funding for higher education, community colleges especially. So it's going to become uh, a challenge to uh, keep doing that without raising the taxes and raising tuition where you can't uh, make it affordable for both the citizens of Amarillo and uh, the students who want to attend here. Okay. And the last question. The board has focused largely on student poverty and keeping them in school, as well as building workforce in the city. What results do you want to see going forward? Uh, I would like to see uh, further results going forward in uh, more people completion. The completion percentage at Amarillo College is on the rise. Um, I think some other things need to be changed to uh, ensure that that continues. Um, people have had challenges in uh, staying in school here, whether it become babysitting or monetary challenges that they were dropping out of school. Um, I think those challenges continue to exist today and uh, we need to come up with more creative ways to uh, help students be completers, complete that, uh, raise the completion percentage. We have the new Thrive Scholarship which helps students pay for that. It's not always the paying for college that becomes the problem, it's, it's other things that uh, happen in between there. So all, all students of AISD who are eligible for that scholarship can come here without cost to them, paid for by uh, taxpayers and other entities here in Amarillo that help fund that scholarship, which gives a lot of opportunity to students. And I'd like to see that uh, growth continue. Okay, there we go.